Ask Reddit by Sugar Biscuits. Where is one place you will never go to? Diving into an underwater cave. If people want to die drowning in the dark, more power to them. Some things are best left unexplored. I mean for me the bigger issue is all the training I'd need to do to do it safely. Most deaths in caves are from people untrained to cave dive it's completely different to normal diving. It's so expensive and takes so long to get cave certified it's just not worth the hassle for me. Costco on a Saturday afternoon. I switched careers about 5 years ago and Mondays and Tuesdays became my weekend. It is so glorious having the entire city to yourself. North Sentinel Island. You can go there, you just can't leave. Myanmar. Spent my pre adolescence there during the previous rule of the junta, when Suyuki was in house arrest. I cannot begin to explain the fear that was present in everyday life there then. My father had to be a Jiangan for some pretty run of the mill corporate work and was nonetheless always on alert. As of the 10th of November 12 year old, I was not allowed to answer telephones, lest I reveal something that might seem problematic to the administration. Even in an atmosphere that you were on the brink of robbing law enforcement the wrong way, my most memorable moments were brushes with the younger adult neighbors in our apartment who were running an illegal computer training center. I cannot imagine their lives now, suspended in constant agitation. Me, well that was a long time ago, maybe things are better now. Reads up on Myanmar's recent history. Nope. Exactly the same down to the military rule and Suyuki being arrested. Literally the exact same thing happened again in 2021. Burkina Faso. Not because I have anything against the place, it just seems like a really unlikely location for me to end up. It's fun to say, though. I had a friend in the Peace Corps who went there and immediately contracted a deadly parasite and had to be sent back before she died, and it was a close one. Somalia. The US travel advisory for Somalia is one of the more amusing ones, including things like, have a designated contact for hostage negotiations and notify next of kin of your travel plans if a body needs to be sent. Mount Everest. I understand why some people want to but I even if I had eternal life I can't imagine wanting to spend any of it climbing a freezing cold mountain just to say I'd been to the highest point on earth. I would like to see the Himalayas but I don't want to summit any of them. The beyond part of Bed Bath & Beyond sadly. No matter how hard I try. They are closing all their stores, so if you want to try again, now's the time. The Moon. Yeah, after it got stolen on the 9th of June, 2010 it's no longer an eligible vacation spot. Anywhere I have to bring my own atmosphere with me, cave scuba diving, MT Everest, the moon ETC. Antarctica. I'd like to go but it's highly unlikely I ever will. I've actually gone, for a study abroad program this past December. While we didn't go farther than the Antarctic Peninsula, we did get to go on land quite a bit, plus the polar plunge, it was very cold indeed. It was almost like a spiritual journey. Ever since coming back I don't feel the same. There's something about seeing a part of the world so remote and untouched that is just, humbling to the ego. That dark place beyond everything the light touches. Or oh, come on, it's just an elephant graveyard. Don't be a chicken. Dubai, it just doesn't appeal to me at all. You don't fancy seeing a bunch of Love Island stars and influencers try to impress each other with their money? What's wrong with you? Very obvious but obligatory S. Coachella. Probably the exploded reactor of Chernobyl. Yeah, that's probably not going to be safe to explore for centuries yet, but damn, would I love to. One of my biggest fascinations in life is ruins. And there's nothing quite like an exploded nuclear reactor. I'm so curious about what it's like there, 
Under the safe confinement in that roofless reactor hall, the blasted corridors around it and the control room where it all went wrong. DPRK, North Korea Actually have been to North Korea once technically, got to go into the building that is built on the border and got to technically cross the border in the building, into the North Korean side. Of course there was a guard at the door that lead into he country proper but I crossed the border so I count it lol. Constantinople. I had a date there once, but she was waiting in Istanbul. Why did Constantinople get the works? 42 Wallaby Way Sydney. Comma sadly. Disney should get a street named over there and open up a fake dentist shop. Camelot. Tis a silly place. It's just a model anyway. Gary, Indiana from what I've read on Reddit. The grey skies really match the brown deteriorated buildings. If you're lucky, you might even get to meet a meth head. Undiscovered or barely discovered cave systems. Fuck those. Especially the ones underwater. Underwater caves. Fuck fuckity fuck. Uranus. Have another drink. You can catch me in a lot of places, but one place you won't catch me is with one foot inside a golden corral. Let's pour one out for our boy Ponderosa one last time. The Sahara Desert. I don't like sand. It's coarse, and rough, and irritating, and it gets everywhere. 7th grade. Fuck that shit. Never doing it again. Middle school was so much more abusive than high school, it was probably the worst three years of my life. And it's at an age where time feels like it moves so oh slower, too. I remember it felt like I was trapped in purgatory. It didn't help that all the adults around me at the time kept saying how much they loved middle school back in their day. Afghanistan Egypt Was expecting to see this much higher up. I am a diver, but sea diving is too much for me. Cave diving scares the hell out of me. Dubai. Too hot. Too expensive. Too backwards. Too many influencers. Somalia, North Korea. I thought Somalia was in Africa. It's probably anywhere near the equator. I'm from north of the 60th parallel and very well suited to extreme cold weather. You know there are a few glaciers along the equator right? Visit the mountains of Ecuador or Tanzania to find some cool equatorial spots dart. Also the persistent breezes of Hawaii make it quite comfortable for us northern folk. I live in the Yukon and appreciate your struggles with oppressive heat. Dubai Overrated F. I second Everest. I was on vacation in Nepal during one of the traffic jam causes mass casualties climbs. While I was having a good time, beer in hand, looking at Everest, people had literally died while being so close to the top. I'm starting to think twice before posting anything on Reddit seems like any option someone has just starts a fight. I find that offensive, delete your comment. India and Pakistan I'm a woman. Might as well add Egypt and most of the Middle East to your list then. Alpha Center AB. India. An introvert's nightmare. Camden, NJ. The waterfront is actually pretty nice these days. North Korea. Haiti, I live right next to it but that place is too anarchic for my taste. Poor Haiti has been screwed over so many times, it's really sad to see. Brazil, thanks to liverleak.com. Just stay away from Rio and you'll be fine, I've been in Brazil for 21 years and never even got robbed once. It's specially good to have a Brazilian friend to guide you around.
but there are truly magnificent landscapes in Brazil that makes it worth a visit. Sun. Too hot. To the basement in a horror movie.